Hey yo, this is Mark's Max Muscle, and today we're going to be taking a look at uh, several bodybuilders who I feel that have the potential to be the next Mr. Olympia champion. Now, I'm not saying either of these guys are going to beat Phil Heath. I'm not saying that at all. But uh, he will eventually retire, and they will have another champion at some point. Now, right into the shoot... I'm going to exclude guys like Sean Roden, Kai Green, Dexter Jackson, and even Roly Winkler. I mean, come on, guys. Every one of those guys are in their 40s. Dexter Jackson, what is he, 50? Anyway, no disrespect at all meant to these gentlemen. I just don't think any of them are going to dethrone Phil Heath or outlast him in the age department. But anyway, uh, the first gentleman that I selected... Is this guy right here, Big Nathan Diasha, a very impressive looking athlete for sure, to say the least. First of all, he does look like a champion. He has that uh, championship look that the IFBB really goes for. They don't just pick anybody, you know. Uh, as far as the physique is concerned, this guy's young. He's, what, 30 years old? Wow. In terms of bodybuilding, he's just a... Still in the growing stage, for sure. So we can uh, really fill out those limbs even more. Very impressive, though, right, even right now. And he is climbing the ladder in placings. But uh, he can't be Olympia champion without a good back. Uh, take a look at the back. Now, it's not uh, tremendous, but uh, you can see he has the potential. It's there. So imagine this big back all filled out. So, Nathan Diasha, the first guy on my list. But don't worry, I'm not going to just pick any of the up-and-comers here. This is a very, very brief list. Only four guys on this list. So, here's the next guy. This is Steve Kuklo, a fantastic-looking athlete. Just a incredible look at the IFBB. Like I said, they like that uh, marketable quality of an athlete. Uh, look at the calves on this man. Just incredible. And as I said, you can't be the Mr. Olympia champion without a good back. And uh, very impressive back, I think. And uh, wow. Just, uh, just this guy reeks. He is reeking of potential right now, but he reeks of potential. Very impressive. Anyway, let's uh, carry on with the list. This is, of course, William Bonac. And I'm sure you have all guessed him and my final uh, contestant, or whatever you would call it. Uh, I think William Bonac is a serious threat to Phil Heath right now, never mind in the future. I mean, wow, just impressive. He has a real nice finish to him. And of course, look at the block. Just needs a little bit more meat back there, a little bit more size. I can hear 100,000 people saying, nye, 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 nye. he doesn't need more size, he's perfect. Shut up. If he gets a little bit more size, he can get the gut. Anyway, let's uh, carry on with the list and have a look at the final guy who I think could be uh, the next Mr. Olympia champion. I'm sure it comes to no surprise to any of you that I selected Big Rammy, Mamdua Elsbae for my final pick of perhaps the next man to be Mr. Olympia champion. Now, I'm sure he would be the top guy on most of any list, and for good reason. Have a look at the back on this man. It's a Boeing 747 Big Air Jumbo Jet. You know what? I, I If he really comes in dialed in and uh, just uh, crisp and perfect, and Phil Heath really screws up, and I think we're looking at a, uh, a toppled champion in Phil Heath. Ooh, that would be exciting. But as I predicted in my uh, 2018 top 10 prediction list, I do think Phil Heath will carry on with his, uh, his pig, pig ways because he's hogging all these sandows. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, impromptu video and have a good day.